Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Backpack Trader Training Room for Thursday, June 2nd. This is a, a training room for educational and information purposes only, not financial advice. Results presented are hypothetical and not typical. This is not a signal service. Please review the risk disclosure. If you have need to look at it further, here is the there is the web URL, which I know you can't click as a link from an image. So let's get to it this morning. We're under a minute to go before market open. We have a get in sync. I got my colors backwards there. We've got to get in sync long on the YM. Entry will be at 8.22. About 30 seconds to go. That bar just closed and we're right. Still 20 seconds to go. To get in sync, we also have a get in sync on soybeans, so be aware of both of those. We'll come back to pound Aussie and the energies shortly. And market is open. Put your order in on the YM and just trigger YM just triggered in. And we also are have a get in sync on soybeans at 1703.50. And it looks like looks like we're at the moment we had we had a spike up and five been five seconds we were back down below, so not tradable yet. So we're still Still flat on soybeans. Stop and reverse on the at 787. It looks like off the chart. Check the data box. Yeah, 787 will be the stop and reverse adjusted entry. And it looks like there is money management and target one. 35 tick target one. So nice, nice start to the morning. 786 for the the break even stop. And the long trade did stop out, so that is that is an avoided trade. And the soybeans is flat and has remained so this morning. Now let's see what our loss was on that trade. The original stop, the original stop, and it's hit. Now we've gone through target two, and the stop is at seven forty six on the YM. And we have a new stop in reverse at. To go long and it did it hit the unadjusted entry but especially right there around the session open i'd adjust around the session open make that 71 for entry and so it stayed now actually actually no yeah i'd still adjust it but we had already stopped out on the trailer now let me see we got 30, well, we got 33 ticks to the target. And our original original stop here, long stopped out, so that, was avo that would be avoided. There's another long if we need it.
if you're not positive, and that's the calculation I'm trying to take a look at now. Seven eighty four was our original risk. Seven eighty seven, three ticks higher than that. So we had a thirty five tick risk on this trade. The, or we had a thirty five tick loss on two positions, but we got thirty three plus a bit more. So we should be positive and done on the day. Basically, a, essentially a break even session on two trades. And that is what we got on the YM this morning. Unfortunately, no trade there on soybeans. It's heading up now with no nothing going on. Okay, looking over here at the Pound Aussie, we had a long at 8.54 that ultimately did meandered about and ultimately did trigger in and the trade didn't cancel. But triggered in now it's then it picked up a stop and reverse the at 73.72 and is approaching money management now on that trade. Money management is at 59.2. And we got to just above that, it looks like. 59.7. Yeah, we're a half a pip. And we just, just hit money management. So stops to break even. Remember to adjust for your spread. The exit on the short is the long, is the buy side, so that's where we adjust for our spread. And spreads, I noticed, are down this morning. in the one and a half to two and a half pip range rather than three to th three to four today. That's a welcome change. And going through target one, Excuse me while I manage the, get this trade set up and managed since it's hit money management now. Okay, good morning, Miles and Pamela. Okay, the spreads have gone back up. Well, they're bouncing around. They're going, getting tight and loose again. I didn't get filled on that target one yet. And while I'm in the room, it's a little tough to get to my... Trade manager to take that position off. So I'll okay. 
I'll go ahead and put that down. And I got that got filled there finally. So that's going to be a well, maybe one one and done session. We don't know yet. We took from eighty seven to seventy two, so that's a fifteen pip loss times five positions is going to be 75 pips. So we've got some work to do to catch up. Target one here is 12 is 10, is the minimum 12 pips with the stop and reverse adjustment. Approaching target two now. All right, so let's, while that's working, let's take a look at the energies. And the YM, that's right, the YM got, got done already, so we're not looking for anything there. Soybeans showed us a short that has canceled and now gives us, shows us a long that has not triggered yet. Long entry at 17.17.50. Actually, looks like maybe that did. What was that next bar? Yes, it did. It did just touch the entry, but I would say that's probably would have been a touch and, and reverse. So that I would say move your stop up or move your entry up to 17.75 on that. As in all likelihood, you didn't get an, your order in in time on that. So give it a tick around the, the swing high. Crude oil this morning, we have a trade at 856. So that's a get in sync as long as it doesn't hit money management comes up right at nine o'clock we get a long setup so hey, just as I was and I was watching micro crude which is really similar I initially had, was poised to put the my short entry sell entry in at 49 and just as, as we hit our start time we got the the long trade, so I put put the order in on the long at 61, and by the time I came back down here, we got 11 seconds into the session, and we're already down here below the entry, and I didn't have time to get, get an entry in on the short. It would have been a wonderful trade to be in, but I suspect just due to the nature of the market this morning, it, that really wasn't tradable. So then we follow that up then with a long that actually that that one's not tradable either. It was two seconds from setup to the next bar closing below the entry and it never came back up to the entry. So our first trade is the 200 EMA short trade at 13.99 that just touches money management comes back and stops out at 14.01 for a 
very small loss, so we'll take the next trade. which is the short here. And as you can see that that hits money management and just touches target. Yep. Touches target one. So that's going to, Put us, make us positive, and this will be the POQ trade. And there is a stop out at the break-even stop, giving us another tick. So that was a 19 tick target one plus a tick on tar second position, so 20 ticks. And we had lost four ticks on the prior trade, so... We end up 16 ticks positive on the day, and the full co crude contract is POQ. This, this is the micro crude, same situation, short setup before our start time, long setup right at our start time. So I, that was not able to, obviously the long didn't trigger and I wasn't able to get back in and, and put in the short trade by the time it came back through. It was two seconds to that bar, but by the time I put in the order here, it had come through the, the entry to the short and just was too fast to trade. So our first trade there was this short, lots of time to get in it. Since you did hit target one, I would keep the stop at 13.98 rather than taking it back up to 14, 14.01. That's just me. Once once I get it, it positive, I'm gonna not gonna leave that risk. A couple of ticks of risk on the table. So 16 tick net total there. Not a big, big morning, but one and done for micro crude. Lots of trades on micro this morning, and it looks like energy's heading upward. Found Aussie trailing. And it looks like we've triggered into yes, we triggered into the long hit money management. So we got target one and came back. Looks like we stopped out for one tick for targets two, three, and trail. But that's another one and done session for soybeans. Unleaded. Kind of similar situation. We have a long setting up right on our start time. That's also off the 200 EMA. Unfortunately, we have plenty of time to get the get in sync order in, in with that. And so we're... We, Enter that that trade is entered as it comes back down. You could, given this setup with when it's spiking to the session open and coming back, I might wait to put that in until it tested the moving averages down here, which would have avoided the entry. But by the trade plan, that's should be a you should be long, and therefore. The short would be at 518, stop and reverse, but that makes a 68 tick target two on the stop, if, assuming you stopped and reversed. Plenty to mitigate the stop and reverse loss, and then you trail down even beyond target two. So. Two and done for unleaded with a, 
for a POQ session. Stop down to 73.57 on the pound Aussie. And let's take a look at heating oil. That was a 9.30 Eastern start with market open. There is our first trade that's spike. Yeah, that one I would say almost certainly sound 20. It was 11 seconds, but it looks like it spiked through. Maybe, maybe not, but it's a full stop. Full stop. Stop out if you did get in it. And a long, uh, almost a minute in. That goes to money management in, in one second. So that one's not tradable, unfortunately. Nice winner, but not tradable. The short's not tradable. This same second, it's gone through all, <laughs> through at least two, if not all three targets. One second, it's through all through target four. So definitely not tradable there. Four seconds to, to money management on the long. Heating oil just moving too fast to, to catch this morning. A couple of some nice winners, but too fast to trade. And there's a 10 second bar, but it's spiked to the entry and then come back up. That would be a, a loss, but I, I really haven't seen a trade that's likely to have been tradable yet this morning. 12 second, 12 second bar on that one. That one's possible, quite poss probably tradable. Uh, I need to go a couple of ticks beyond. So that we do pick up 28 ticks on target three and trail just slight up just beyond target one, it looks like. Trailing up to 1599s. So wholesale crude futures price at four dollars and almost four dollars and sixteen cents. That's that's going to be tough at the pumps. But that's that's really your first tradable trade this morning. That's a winner. Short setup. That's same second to... Is it to money management? Yep, same, same second to money management. So that's a no trade. Another short... And lots of timing to get in that one. That's going to be another target three winner. And one tick break even on the trail. So that's two wins. That's two seconds. Did it get to... Looks like it did go, yeah, it did go to money management, so that's that's not tradable. So we still have our two winners and no losses tradable yet. It's, and the long trade is not tradable. Same second to money management. Two seconds to come back up. And then that goes on to stop. Well, yeah, to to stop out. And actually stop in reverse, it looks like. Yeah. Would have reversed at the, the full stop, but not tradable. So you would have taken tried to take the long there. Same second to the third, second bar in. Third bar in. 
Still the same second. And nope, that was not tradable. By the time it finally, you got all those bars in the same second. Another un, not untradable trade. Looks like we got a break even there. Same second to money management, so that's not tradable. So it looks like some winners in there on the trades that were tradable, but then a lot of trades that just weren't tradable in heating oil. Taking a look at the Russell. Uh, let's see, soybeans. Now let's see when when did we get in? Okay, here's the long trade. That's it. That's ten minutes after our start time, and you had four four or five minutes. Now you you didn't get in. Your your order should have been sit waiting. It's possible if you had a stop limit in place that it, it went through it and didn't fill you, and that that's something you can't can't forecast. So in that case, yeah, I would probably have have taken the following short, which it's still in at the moment. But it looks to me like you know the soybean trade should have been a one and done. Plenty of time to get into it. The initial now, yes, the initial up move was was no there was there wasn't a trade to, to take because these our original get in sync was back here, but we stopped that trade stopped out. It was active because it had triggered in before our start time, so was, once it hit the stop, it was off the table. So there was there wasn't the setup to take to get into this move, and that was a minute already a minute after our start time before that happened. But we the the initial trade setup had already stopped out, so we were flat, and actually the short setup there no, no that short the first first. Valid short would have been this one. So that one canceled, but that was our long trade that ultimately did get to target one and for the one and done session. Start time for ZS is 8.30 Central. Soybeans is traded out of Chicago. So exchange time is... Yeah, it went up 18 points, but let's see. Here's a second. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Here's a set of exhaustion dots, but it's lower than the last two. It would be a white trade, and that requires that, it, that the histogram at least get to the red before it'll set up a white trade. So that's why it didn't set up a trade. This is counterpunch. But that's why there was no setup because it was it basically already in an uptrend. Just pulled back to the lines, pulled back a little too far to get a, a trade off of the 50 EMA. And the white couldn't get a white trade because white trade requires that you get at least get one bar into the red on histogram to be able to set up. For the long. And of course I'm showing nine third I'm showing Eastern time timestamps on my charts, but it is a central time exchange. So nine thirty Eastern start time. But that's and then of course you didn't have any other exhaustion dots till you got up here and then down here on the 
the exhaustion dots for the, the long that we ultimately did take. And that's a green trade, obviously. So that's, that's why we didn't get a setup on that big up move. It looks like it, if we'd gotten a setup, there was plenty of time to, to get into that trade. But that's what it was. Is there, Notice we, had, we were all blue in here on the histogram. So that's why we didn't get a setup there. Okay, 10 a.m. crude session coming up. And the pound Aussie got us targets one and two and stopped out on the trailer just above target one, or just below target one. Uh, wait, okay, Vicky, which chart are you looking at? Saying your charts don't look like mine. If you're looking at the pound Aussie, that's not that's quite likely actually because that's going to depend on your broker's data for your you know because I know you're using Ninja Trader and I don't know which or what your data source is. I'm using a Wanda data because I did I think in the the short time that Ninja Trader Brokerage was an introducing broker for Wanda, I did jump on that, and so I'm using using Wanda data directly and trading directly off my charts in Wanda. Unfortunately, that's not something you can do now at 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 the present time. Okay, yeah, this is this is in T eight, but I don't I don't know why. Now, are you, are you looking at YM or are you looking at the micro YM? Yeah, what what's different about your your charts? You may uh, let's see. You may or may not have the twenty SMA and and two hundred EMA. Okay. Are you trying to use stop limit orders for your entries? That should help control the, the slippage. Now you may it may go through and you don't get get a fill at times. But you know, if you're using stop limit orders, you shouldn't be getting getting sli that much slippage versus a stop market order. And depending on where you have your your limit offset set up. Okay, that's two ticks of slippage on unleaded is not bad. So that's if you're using stop limit orders, that's what you should be the maximum you should be getting is two ticks of slippage. Now you'll you may get some slippage on the the exits, but I find a whole lot less of that than I do on the entries. Now are when when you look at ZS, are you looking at, at it with spotlight or are you looking at it with this is counterpunch that I'm I'm showing in, in the room here okay 
I can't can't tell you why it's looking looking different. Unless it's just that we're on different data servers and that just enough difference in the data that that can make some surprising differences in the chart, especially as quickly as soybeans sometimes move right moves right at the open. And we're probably about 10 days away from rollover on the, the Russell and the YM. Let's see what the Russell look. We'll look at Russell in just a minute. So one and actually looks like two and done. Now, actually probably not for most Yeah, we probably should be in that long that triggered into coming off of the short. But I would certainly want to, given the character of that chart, I would, I would wait for a test of the lows given we're right below the 20 SMA as well. We're also approaching target two on the swing trade short that was posted to spot the spotlight FX alert service. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, Mickey, but it, it typically moves extremely rapidly in that first few minutes because it, they're just coming back from about a 45 minute uh, stand down or 45 minute halt because soybeans halts at at 7:45 central and then then opens back up at at 8:30 or central so yeah, that first first minute or minute or two gets really busy with the pent up order orders Yeah, watch your charts. You'll notice that it stops at about 45 minutes. The timestamps stop about 45 minutes before the market for market open and then resume at market open. So that's why you usually get that slug of bars on soybeans right at the at market open. But yeah, okay. If, uh, if yeah, you if you're working ten thirty, you haven't even gotten to unleaded yet. Oh, and I'm I missed the ten a.m. crude session. Uh, looking at micro crude, there's ten a.m. right there. So it looks like we have a long trade off the bat. Looks like it hits money management, but not target. So that's a break even trade. Now the question is, was it? No, I had plenty of time to get in. <laughs> So a break even trade on the first trade, the short, then the short at 10.02. Uh, depends, it just, just depends on how fast that went through, but it looks like plenty of a nice long time on that bar. So very likely it did have time to get in 
it's and it does come through and hits target two and three. So that is two and done and POQ on the 10 a.m. crude session. And your Vicky, your 1030 unleaded is coming up in about actually remember folks, today is the crude oil inventory report, and I'm going to have to shut it down in about another five minutes so I can transition over and, and run that one since we had a Monday holiday. So uh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I can, I can stick around another, uh, about another hmm, 25 minutes because that's going to be at 11 o'clock. Oh, uh, what did, and I didn't look. To see what that what time that was scheduled, but eleven o'clock is when it'll actually be. It's because, of course, Thursday at ten thirty is the natural gas inventory re report. Now let's take a quick look at what the full crude contract did at ten o'clock. like you had that long that looks like it stopped and reversed to a short yep stops and reverses at 30 1634 picks up targets one and two and trails down almost to target two but targets one and two for well, target one would only have been nine ticks after your stop and reverse adjustment. Uh, eight ticks, actually. So it would have been targets two and the trailer. So target two was 16 ticks after the stop and reverse adjust. Trail to 21. So we got 14 ticks out of the tra trailer. So 30 ticks. Out of that, that easily taking care of the stop and reverse loss. So a two and done on the full crude contract. Probably not quite as successful as the micro crude, but dollar for dollar, you're actually probably ahead, but it takes a little bit bigger account to trade the full crude, obviously. So, you may, Vicky, you may not want to tra look at unleaded this morning at ten thirty with the crude inventory, the inventory report coming up at eleven. So, I take it if you're working at ten thirty, you're, you're are you fully retired now? Oh, okay. I forget, you're in Tennessee somewhere, if I remember correctly, correct? Okay, I will. I will be close, or maybe looks like we're. My wife and I are gonna do the Toastmasters International Convention in mid-August in Nashville, and just depend. I don't know if we're gonna fly or drive, but if we drive, we'll come right through Knoxville.
and I haven't forgotten about get you, getting you the workspace. I've just been having issues with my email. <laughs> our provider, our email provider, retired their old infrastructure and has gone strictly to Microsoft, Microsoft Exchange infrastructure, so I was having to reconfigure all of my devices for the, the email accounts. It most likely would be, I would guess, more likely would be dinner time, Vicki, because if we drive, uh, you're going to be about five, probably five or six hours from from where we start, and I, I know we're not going to start really early in the morning. <laughs> I, I, I'm a fairly early riser. I'm tipping. Of course, I get up about seven every morning to do this. But my wife, she's not human before about nine or ten. <laughs> and now that we're both retired, she gets to sleep in. But she also stay is up up late usually. So, all right. So let's see what's going on. Oh, we haven't looked at the. Hmm, NQ looks like it might have been doing something this morning. Wow, <laughs> some significant moves there, and lots of lots of bars. Uh, 9.34 for Eastern Time start. M M Micro NQ is, of course, traded also in Chicago. So that is an 8.34 Central Time start. Okay, there is our start time. We've hit target one, but not gotten far enough to get to money management. So that looks to me like that's going to be a valid get in sync. And it looks like a couple of bars to do it. Um, maybe. <laughs> Quick bounce right there. 30 at the four, four minute mark, but it's a possibility. Goes up, hits target two, and comes back for a break even stop out on the trailer. Short, and well, That looks like it came back down and, and triggered in and then went to the stop. So I'm afraid that one's going to be a. That one you'd have to look at. That one may or may not be tradable. One second, I would probably try to push my entry down to 25 or, yeah, 25. And that would have kept you out of that. And the long ten seconds to get to get in, so that one's definitely in. Uh, hits money management, and yes, another target to win, and a break even stop. Full stop out on the short. Now let's see what the timing looked like. Yep. That one's going to be a 
you get the pull back and get in and it goes right to the stop. No trigger on the long. So we got two target, two wins, one full stop out. Short at 9.30. And we're only a minute and 15 seconds into our, our trade session on that. So. One, two, two seconds, still two seconds, still two, yeah. You're two seconds, you're already bent down beyond target one. Three seconds there, yeah, that, that went went too fast to, to trade that, although it, it's, it's another target two, but we, at least it got some, a trailer, but that was too fast to trade. Uh, there is a he. Well, five seconds to this bar, how fast it pulled back would be the question. Did, did you get an order in? Looks to me like probably a loss, but possibly avoidable. And there is going to be another loss. That's three losses. So I think that is your POQ point. And yeah, just just no, you know, noisy action in there, several losses in a row. So yeah, you'd be out of your session at that point. And here's the the big winner. Lots of time to get into that. Well, three, six seconds, ten seconds. Okay, yeah, you had ten about ten seconds before the. It hit the entry, so definitely in that one. Targets three, four, and a solid trailer, but that probably is outside of your trade session given the your given POQ rules. Uh, break even long trade. 13 second entry on that. That's that one's going to be in. Uh, it's a break and ends up being just a break even, not quite getting to target two. So that's micro NQ this morning. Any questions? And with the 11 o'clock crude oil inventory report, I would have done the 10, 10 a.m. session this morning. What data source are you using for your, uh, are you, oh, okay, you're headed to work, Vicki. What data source are you using for your futures? Is it your broker or I'm using Kinetic and that may be the difference. All right.
All right, not not a lot going on. We're pretty, we're done with pretty much all the charts except the pound Aussie. Let's take a look at the micro ES and see if that's done anything this morning. And we were in this early trade from eight 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 central. So that that was a no trade. And no, well, it certainly went too far too fast to get into. And there is our first trade at 10.15. So 9.15 central, that's outside of our 8.35 to 9 o'clock trade window. The next one is at 10.30. Well, folks, I had a nice conversation with Vicky this morning. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, I know we never did look at and the Russell you know, nine thirty start there. That's right at session op open, right at market open. That is in all likelihood avoidable. Plenty of time to get into this trade. Doesn't quite get the target. Yeah, actually does. Actually, it does hit target three right on the nose. And the balance of any positions coming off at break even stop. The long is a full stop out. Four seconds. Question of how fast it pulled back, possibly avoidable or untradeable. No trigger on the long. Another full stop out. Four, two. Ooh, hey, that's not good. 10 seconds on that bar so you you're you're in the trade there i would just about guarantee that one that one is is definitely going to be a full loss again no trigger on the short Yeesh. five seconds on bar one Another four on bar two. You're nine seconds in. And then it pulls back. That, that one's hard to avoid as well. That's a second loss. And that's a third loss. So that should end your session. One... Possibly break one break even, uh, one target three and break even, or and a tick plus three, three losses, and that ends the session. So, not great results there. Probably just about break even one way or the other. Well, actually, no. Probably are going to be and it's like, yeah, you're going to be slightly negative on that. But other than the, the pound Aussie, 
that's all there is today. <laughs> until we get into the 11 a.m. crude report, which will be a half hour from now. We'll wait our two minutes, so 11.02 to start time. And it looks like I'll shut down here in about 10 minutes, so I've got plenty of time to get switched over. Well, let me check and see if... I haven't got any messages from Troy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's the YouTube ske was scheduled for nine for ten thirty. Well, that, that won't happen until eleven o'clock because <laughs> it's delayed a half hour on when it moves to Thursday. Well, there is a stop and reverse short. It didn't trigger on the pound Aussie. 73.42. Uh, it should be, yeah, 73.42. No adjustment on the entry for spread well, we will adjust on the exit if we if it does trigger short Looks like it did trigger unadjusted, so the stop and reverse will stay in place unless we hit the stop. And, of course, the stop is sitting up there at the 50 EMA. So that will be interesting.
currently still long in the pound Aussie, but we do have a stop and reverse in place. Trade number one. All right. Now we're down to only four or five of, of us in here. And the only thing we're watching is the pound Aussie. So I believe I probably am going to, I'm going to, And coming close to that stop and reverse short entry, that'll be trade number five this morning on the Pound Aussie. And I just triggered short. Which I actually kind of like. The trend definitely is to the short side. But we're going to need to hit... New target levels our new, new session lows to get to targets.
Okay, it's, it's getting that time, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it down and get ready for the crude inventory report at the top of the hour. So we will see everybody in, in about 18 minutes. I'll try to get back on a few minutes before this report comes out. So we'll see everybody shortly. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. <laughs>